almost two years ago today, barely in a week, um, this similar thing happened to me. I'm Margaret Ann Windsor, that's my real name, and I was kidnapped from Buckingham Palace in 41 and brought to the United States uh, in 41. I was born in 39. I want to show you I'm doing this video because I've just been passed out, and last night I was in a living hell. I didn't know that they were um, suddenly after the, I mean, this is still winter here, and the, uh, it's been ice and snow. It snowed twice, and um, just getting over it the last couple of days, the last one. And um, suddenly they're coming in, and they're taking up. Uh, I didn't know what was making me so sick. I just passed out last night. I get my immune system attacks itself if I'm around toxic fumes. And I've been deliberately put uh, around toxic fumes when I'm able to get a place to live. And you can imagine what it's like. People around here all know it. And they have for a long time trying to tell someone they're afraid of this mess. Uh, it's because of who I am, who my father is and my children, and who kidnapped me in the whole bloody mess. Um, I'm just going to go back because I put this up on video. Um, they're, going, they're suddenly taking up the sidewalk and it and tell they have a glue and cement and I don't know, God, what else. It's right outside the door. It's not the sidewalk. It's the, as you step out, it's that area all outside the door all the way down and then on the other side. And then if they can keep going because there's units, one, two, three, or four other units. So you can imagine, I'm on, they just did this one last night and today, and they're supposed to come here tomorrow. It takes a week for it to dry on one after they've done it, so it would be, and I, I didn't even know it was going to be done. And people around here are told not to rent to me, and they're, they don't want to get into it, the law, they're afraid to, because the law is involved in telling them. And I've told about retired state trooper Carl Barton. He and his wife Linda in 09, she uh, took me over to corporate suites and had a tent put up on Roanoke Mountain. Somebody had poured fuel on it. I mean, this is how they've treated me and run me. And um, they're told to. They wouldn't have to be told to. They don't like me telling what this country's done to me and what the country's doing. I was writing about mind control murders years ago in 75 to 80, and April Fool's Day of 80, and they almost killed me with any proof. Wrote about Larry McDonald, Congressman Doctor, and wrote about the Center for Disease Control. I'd work for doctors. And Larry Flynn, I keep mentioning, because he was shot back then, and his attorney killed. And uh, he flew me out there later, and I put that up. Um, he endorsed me in the campaign, and he uh, knew, he knew I knew about his shooting, and he he said that I haven't seen him since then. They've done enough to him, not because of pornography, pornography, but because he told the truth about certain people, the Bloomingdale tapes, and a whole bunch of stuff. But anyway, mine was telling about mind control, and. Um, the agency doing it deliberately did it in patterns so some of them could be proven. But nobody's going to touch it because the uh, the law enforcement that's doing it, and don't call them the bad guys. The bad guys are all these people that know it and jumped in and helped do this stuff to me. Um, I mean, it's sick. It's cowards and unreal. But anyway, um, the agency can, in law enforcement, can get things on other people when they investigate and get people to compromise themselves or do it willingly. It's something weird when they know you kidnapped from Great Britain who I am. My mother was born here, by the way, and uh, they don't want to hear it. But before this runs out, I want to show you to a degree I was passed out last night. I didn't know what they were using. I didn't know they were doing it on the other side. I thought it was somebody truck holding and using the starter right under my window or something. 
and anyone today, I tried to walk around there, and I saw it, and they're going to do it in front of my, uh, all of them down here in front of my sidewalk, where I, I mean, I can't live. I don't know what I'll do. I'm 77 years old, for God's sake. Oh, people are so afraid of it. And I want to go back to two years ago almost in another week on the 3rd of March, two years ago. I went to Corporate Suites. It's owned by a Jewish man, and he has really flourished here in Rano with his efficiency apartment. And he had a woman in there when I rented the one at Lakeside or Northern, Northern Drive in Salem or, or uh, Rono. Um, they did the same thing. They come in and took up the uh, sidewalk. It, it was horrible. Well, she had actually given me a letter that I still have and I've put up for people to see, which is illegal as hell, and told me that I would have to leave. She just wouldn't take my money. Uh, if I tried to come up and pay her uh, for another week's rent or month's rent, she'd call the cops and have me for trespassing. You think it can't happen? This mess has been done to me with everybody because they're afraid. And here's what she said to me. Alexis Murphy is a young black girl that was killed from Lovingston, Virginia, up near Charlottesville. Some others, I mean, this is mask. It's in the mask mind control and killing. Um, it's just hard to prove because mind control is invisible. I'm going to leave out one of the girls that's involved with the, um, well, you had Alexis Murphy, and then you had um, Hannah Graham at um, Virginia, uh, Univers University of Virginia, and um, well, Matthews, uh, Jesse Matthews is supposed to have killed three girls. Two or three, I can't remember now. I'm so sick. But anyway, everybody around here knows it. Nobody's going to touch it. They're afraid of it. And then they just had one, and I'm not going to mention that in Blacksburg. I am not anymore. I'm tired. Um, everybody around here knows it. The Virginia Tech 33 shootings. Um, and it leaves me kind of rambling, but my God, how do you think all this just suddenly happened? The Aurora, Colorado, all of this. But anyway, I've been made to move around. They've used my son's names and some of it, Mark and Scott. I don't even know if they're still alive. But they've moved me around, and for instance, they moved me, had me to where I couldn't move. I can't even uh, walk anymore, and I don't think this is going up. I just passed out this morning, and I start to scream when glue is right around me. I just can't, I can't do it. I function should function well unless it's in close quarters and I'm inhaling, forced to inhale it. But Scott Hill retirement, and these people that are the administrators, I'll know this before I ever come. So it's planned. And I was put in a position where I had to go out there. It's a retirement. And they, at least a friend that gave me this um, so that I could get it on video because what most of what's done I can't put it up have pictures of it but he gave this to me about three years ago I believe and uh, I started putting it up uh, and trying to tell about it uh, the mind control murders and kidnapping and all that and uh, anyway back to uh, corporate suites the woman there at Lakeside they just flat wouldn't accept my rent if I tried to pay her She's going to have me arrested. She turned her computer around and showed me a picture of her daughter who was finishing high school. She says, I don't want my daughter to be the next Alexis Murphy. Uh, I didn't kill anybody. I just told about it. And uh, that's about all I can say. The, the police and law enforcement have been in, just like the retired state trooper said, Carl Barton, he said, this is how we make you move with chemicals, and they talk, if, you, if this is ever told, it's too late for me, I can't, if they do the rest of this, I can't get a place to go right now, um, I have to stay here, I'd be dead, <laughs> and this has all been done to me, she's like Anastasia, I mean, she was murdered up in Charlottesville, Zara Nicholas's daughter, she really was Zara, Zara Nicholas's daughter.